Zainab Benush was at the mall when a clerk told her she couldn't shop there with her niqab on. She said, uh, we, you don't have the right to be here. I'm going to call security and you have to take this, uh, your, like, your veal off if you want to go in the store. Benush says it was the first time she'd been refused service, but fears it's going to happen more often now that Quebec passed a law banning face coverings for anyone using government services, including public transit, libraries and hospitals. They're going to try to apply this law to every single thing, so we will not even have the right to go out. I'm sure of it. The law passed yesterday, but the debate over it intensified today. Premier. In an unprecedented move, all political parties in the Ontario legislature condemn the Quebec law. Banning women from wearing a niqab when they pick up a book from the library will only divide us. All Canadians have a legal right to their religious beliefs. This is a dangerous law that compromises rather than protects public safety. Montreal's mayor says he won't direct municipal staff to enforce the face covering ban. Do we want to create the kneecap police? Do we want to put all that pressure uh, uh, under the, uh, you know, the, the drivers or the librarian or anybody who's providing some services? This constitutional lawyer says there's a charter challenge looming. As soon as they try to deny people services that are generally available for other people on the grounds that they're wearing something, they're on shaky grounds. The Prime Minister says he doesn't agree with the law, but his government won't challenge it. I think we have to respect that uh, this is a debate that's ongoing in society and we respect uh, that uh, the National Assembly in Quebec has uh, taken a position on this. In our opinion, it's, it's still compatible with charters. I think we are at the limit of what our laws and charters uh, would, would allow. Many believe this was a poorly conceived law and will eventually be overturned in the courts and that the Quebec Liberals created it to stop support sliding from them to the Coalition Avenir Quebec, a party that takes a much stronger stand against the public display of religious symbols. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.